New at six, Baldwin County beaches may provide nearly half of Alabama's tourism revenue. Tonight, the city of Gulf Shores is working to keep it that way. Roads and bridges continue to be strained by rapid growth as both the area's resident and visitor population continues to boom. NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live in Gulf Shores. Corey, city leaders say their multi-million dollar transportation project aims to fix some of those issues. Well, Greg, Kim, that's the hope. Gulf Shores city officials say they've gotten negative feedback from visitors regarding ease of travel and traffic congestion. The signs are clear. The combination of Baldwin County's coastal growth and surging tourism is reaching a breaking point. In Gulf Shores, new residents and record visitation is putting a strain on city services and transportation infrastructure. We're very much more of a 12-month destination now versus the old nine-month or eight-month destination. So continuing that uh, ability for people to get in and out easily is a very important part of what is happening here. Grant Brown with the City of Gulf Shores says a 10-year, nearly $100 million transportation infrastructure improvement plan approved last week by city leaders includes the widening of Highway 59, adding a third lane from County Road 8 over the Holmes Bridge to Fort Morgan Road. We've got issues with transportation and the number of people that are coming in from the north to the south and having additional ways for them to get here comfortably but also leave here safely if there's a need of an evacuation or some type of a storm event we need to make sure that we're prudent and we're making sure that people are safe if they have to leave and that they have multiple ways to get on and off the island and multiple ways to get in and out of town the city also plans to build a pedestrian bridge located on 2nd Street behind Lulu's and add additional roadways north and south to take the burden off busy highway 59 Traffic is so bad that people are diverting from Destin to other locations. You know, we're, we're being careful that that doesn't happen here. We're already starting to hear some of that. Our roadways are crowded at least nine to ten months out of the year. Um, we want to make sure that those roadways continue to expand and improve to make sure that we don't choke off this good tourism economy that we've established. A preparation for these projects has already begun and the hope is to have relief coming in the next few years. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.